Hi guys, I've been doing a lot of 3D printing recently because I've got a 3D printer and I like 3D printing things, but it does mean a lot of the things that I've been building are out of the reach of a lot of my regular viewers. I used to do everything with cardboard and hot glue and recently I had some comments on some uh, gravity powered cars, ones where you've got a pulley and a weight and that moves the car forwards. So I thought I'd step back a bit and see if I could make one out of cardboard. So we have a thick cardboard tray here. That's about a quarter of an inch thick um, from the supermarket. This one happened to have raspberries in it. So we're going to cut it about and see if we can make a gravity powered car out of it. Uh, I'm going to use as much of it as I can without cutting it. So I think I'll cut across the end here and fold that up so we've got a tray there for the main chassis. And then use the bits that are left for the, um, I was going to say tripod, but it's only going to be two sides for the support for the pulley. And also see if we can cut the wheels out. Uh, we will need something for axles. I've got some knitting needles that I think I'll use for the axles. And we'll also have to make a pulley, which I'll probably cut out, make two or three circles, small circles to make a pulley. See if we can do it all from cardboard. Well, apart from the axles. Oh, and the lead weight. All right, found a couple of knitting needles. Uh, we can get these in Poundland. These are hollow aluminium tubes, which means they're very light. This one I picked up in a charity shop, and that one's a solid one. But it really won't make a lot of difference. They'll still do the job. Uh, these happen to be five millimeters, but you should be able to use more or less whatever size you want or whatever you can get hold of. All the dimensions are going to be just what I can make it out of. I'm not going to start with any specific um, plan. Let's see if we can focus the camera a minute so it doesn't zoom in and out. Okay. Got a cutting board there so I don't accidentally cut through my floor. Fold it across there, fold it up. So I'm just using the existing marks as the measuring point. I'll wind it up and we'll see how far we go, see how straight we go. Well, we're going. Which way are we going? 
well, fairly straight, not as far as I would have liked it to have gone. We did um, three, four, maybe five meters. That's not bad. It works entirely out of cardboard. Well, plus knitting needles and a bicycle spoke. Well, we didn't exactly fly along, and I think that'll do. So there we go, a cardboard gravity powered car. Cardboard wheels are never good. No matter how hard you try, you're never going to get them nice and round. They're always going to have rough lumps on them. I would use CDs or DVDs. Rest of it worked. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.